Can I, you know, feel it out first? Totally. Roll for perception. Ugh. Thirteen? Despite the desolate look of the caves, your elvish senses tell you that something does, in fact, live inside. Something unfriendly. That's some solid intel. Next, you turn to the forest. Though it seems still, you sense that what's inside is not entirely at rest. Okay, come on. The dragonkin are still behind us. All right. To the forest it is. Let's go. As soon as you enter the shade of the great trees, it becomes eerily silent and very cold. You notice the stones on the ground are arranged in strange patterns, creating huge designs all over the forest floor. I think I know what this is. I follow the stones. The stones lead you to the center of the forest, where you see a mysterious glowing idol upon a golden pedestal. A forest idol? I could use that to regrow my feet. Help me steal it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now this is my kind of skill challenge. Awesome. Roll for idol theft. <laughs> 20. You find a log on the ground and pick it up. Ever so slowly, you lift the idol and slide the log into its place. Sweat pours down your face. You wait, but nothing happens. No net appears to catch you. No blow darts shoot from the trees. The idol is yours. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Nice. You Indiana Jones the shit out of that. Using the idol, Elamon channels the energy of the forest. Fog sweeps in from all around, obscuring his legs. When the fog rolls out, Elamon has a brand new pair of feet. Yes, finally. Suddenly, a bony hand shoots up from the ground in front of you. Then, the undead soldier it belongs to sits up from his grave, sending dirt and pebbles flying. <laughs> Your excited shouts have woken him from his slumber. Balls. Then, the ground beneath you shakes. Bony, rotting hands shoot up from the ground all around as an entire army of undead warriors rises from their graves. You have disrupted the undead forest, an ancient burial ground for fallen soldiers. They surround you now, armed to the teeth, bony faces grinning. Totally worth it. Run. Luckily, the undead have a very low running speed. The party flees safely, but the soldiers aren't far behind. You're near the edge of the forest when you run across... Oh, shit. Is that me? You're gonna play? Yeah, little brother. Pavel, the arrogant gnome bard, joins your party. Gnome bard? That's what she said. Know any firewalk? No, I don't know any of your shitty music. Damn. That's some big talk from someone who's only three feet tall. So size isn't everything. This is awesome. Fine, but don't slow us down. In the time you've been chatting, the army of undead has caught up to you. The first cohort launches iron spears directly at Elamon. What do you do? I grab the bard and use him to shield Elamon. Whoa, hey, can she do that? All's fair in love and tabletop. You whip the bard's little body back and forth, catching every spear as they fly at you. The gnome shrieks, <laughs> perfect F-sharp with every impact. That was sick. Oh my god, you're a monster. 
you burst forth into the majestic meadow, horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush, green fields full of birds, flowers, and dragonkin. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap, and you just walked right into it. As the dragonkin ahead prepare to attack, the army of undead arrive behind you. <sighs> We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have searing crystal. Perfect! Searing crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything. Including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's bracer of fire immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one bracer. <sighs> Mikey loves his character. I, I can't just let him get Elamon killed. Elamon, keep the bracer and cast the spell. I'll hold them off so you can survive. It won't work. Look at all of them. I should have never started this quest. I'm too weak. You're Alamon, freaking wizard of the third circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avalon. Avernon. Yeah, that. See, you can do anything. Wow. You actually remember all of that? But I've never even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? I believe in you. I know you'll roll high. You're the only party member I've ever had who's actually helped me. I can't leave you behind. Some party mate I've been. I got your feet cut off. Taking the hit is the best thing I can do for this party. No, Calamastia, I won't just kill you. You'll kill all of these monsters, too. Think of how many lives you'll be saving by nuking their stupid faces off. But I, I can save everyone. I know I can. Somehow. Elamon, dude. If you can't save everyone, you should at least save someone. Save yourself. All right. I'm so sorry, Chloe. Elamon secures the bracer of fire immunity on his wrist. He gives the elf barbarian one last nod and reaches to the sky. The searing crystal lifts from his hands, floating up into the clouds. You got this, bro. Suddenly, an explosion. Fire arcs outward in a ring. Then the ring begins to spin. Whoa. A quiet stillness encompasses the meadow as all creatures gaze upward at the swirling flames. Thank you, Chloe, for everything. The flames descend over the meadow, bathing everything in liquefying arcs of infernal chaos. Monsters begin screaming in agony. Bad ass. Chloe, you've got one final moment before your angry elven body is burned away forever. Any last words? I turn to Alamon and say, thank you, before the flames burn me away forever. Alamon rolls not to cry. <laughs> I rolled a three. The spell comes to a spectacular climax, until all you can see is white. Then, 
All is calm. All is quiet. All is ash. Damn. Congratulations, Alamon. You have completed Revenge of the Dragonkin. That's it? She's dead? And the game's over? Yep. And Elamon's left alone once again. It was fun having a companion while it lasted. Well, what if I make a new character? Wait, really? You want to keep playing? Sure. This is gonna be dope. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do.